Thank you so much for joining me um, for this nice, slow, gentle flow. Uh, we are going to start on our backs this evening. And as I posted in the description, bring your box, bring a strap if you have one. Um, when I was first starting with yoga and I didn't have a strap, I just used a belt from my bathrobe and that seemed to work pretty well. So if you don't have a strap handy, a uh, bathrobe belt, maybe just a regular belt, or a long kitchen or bath towel, not like a hand towel kind of length, might work better, tea towel sort of thing, or you can just swing it over the edge of the foot. You don't have to have the um, strap, uh, but it will definitely enhance your practice, but you'll still get something out of it even without the strap. So that all being said, one of the wonderful things about blocks is not only can they help you to get some more height, bringing the floor closer up to you, but they can also be used to support us. So today let's go ahead and start on our backs. Um, we are going to begin uh, in a supported bridge pose. So come on down, kind of scooch in the middle of your mat here and gently lower yourself down so that your knees are bent and the soles of your feet are flat on the mat. Move your ponytail out of the way if you got them. Bring the soles of the feet as wide as the mat and the knees can be gently touching down the center line. So we're opening up the hip flexors here already. And then you're going to um, lift up into a very low, gentle bridge and tuck the block right underneath the small of your back, not sitting on the tailbone, just a little bit higher than that, kind of well, basically right where your belt would be if you were wearing one and you weren't using it for a yoga strap. So we're going to lift up and just center that right beneath the low back. Might have to readjust your feet and knees here. Oh my goodness. That really opens up the low back after sitting all day at a desk or a steering wheel or streaming the Great British Baking Show, or whatever you might be doing. Not that I would be doing that. Well, I wouldn't because they haven't come out with any new seasons, which is really a drag in COVID. But anyway, so starting in this nice little supported bridge, just go ahead and notice the breath here. No need to change anything. No need to judge anything. Just be here and notice what's going on in your body. Notice if your breath is coming fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow. Notice how that low back feels with the block underneath supporting you. And you could have the block at a higher setting if you like, if your hips are already open enough. Um, but if you're uh, coming into this cold, um, you know, not having warmed up like out for a walk or something like that, uh, definitely start on the low setting. Uh, one thing I really appreciate since learning yoga, and I started with a wonderful lady named Daisy in the l &I building downtown in Salem, Oregon here. And she always gently brought us in ever increasing the intensity and duration, letting our body catch up and readjust, kind of warming it up like an old car, not that we're old, um, but just gently letting things warm up before we bring in the big gun. So if you are feeling after laying on this low block setting for a while that you would like a little more you can certainly bring the feet in closer together, lift the hips up a little higher, and turn the block to its middle setting. Um, that really opens up in the front of the hips here. Uh, 
But either way, whichever feels best for you, I'm going to keep it low for myself today. Again, feet are wide as the mat, knees are touching. And now let's begin to deepen the breath a little bit and kind of connect with it. And just keep your hands on your belly. And take a nice big inhale, letting the belly lift the hands. And a nice long exhale as the hands float down towards the earth. Inhale again, and here you can soften the gaze or close the eyes. And nice, long, slow exhale. Inhale again, lifting the hands with the belly. Bringing calm and peace to your nervous system. And then exhale as slowly as possible. Bringing out all the old air, drawing the navel towards the spine, emptying out the head. And as we continue this practice, invite you to continue breathing that mindfully and link the movement with the breath. So let's go ahead and bring the feet parallel to each other. And that nice big inhale, we're going to lift the hips, remove the block, and exhale, rolling the spine back down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. And then let's inhale, lifting the arms up, pointing the fingers towards the sky. And then exhale, drawing the backs of the hands towards the floor above your head, as much as is comfortable, your backs of your hands might come all the way to the floor, they might not. And then inhale the fingertips up towards the sky. And exhale, drawing the palms beside you on the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, fingertips pointing up towards the sky. Exhale, backs of hands towards the floor above your head. And inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, palms down to the mat beside you. Inhale again one more time here, fingertips up towards the sky. And exhale, backs of hands, maybe a little bit closer to the floor this time if you're not reaching all the way down, if that feels good in your shoulders there. And then inhale, fingertips back up towards the spine, or sky, excuse me. Exhale, palms to the mat. And then let's link some rolling bridges with this. So that's inhale, rolling the spine up, lifting the fingertips towards the sky. And then exhale, bringing the backs of the hands to the floor while rolling the spine back down to the mat. Inhale, lifting the hips and the fingertips, and exhale everything back down to the mat. Inhale, hips and fingertips, and exhale everything back down, backs of hands on the floor above the head, spine on the mat. Last time, inhale, hips and tips up, and exhale, bringing the palms and rolling the spine gently back to the mat. Inhale here. And exhale, drawing one knee at a time toward the chest. Give yourself that yogi massage here, rolling gently from side to side. And then take your strap in your hands, open it.
it up so that it's laying across your belly. Bring it down in front of your shins, wiggle it down, and then bring the sole of one foot and then the other to the strap. Not in the arch, but right across the ball of the foot. So the part of the foot that would be touching um, the inside of high heeled shoes. So think Barbie feet. That's where you want that strap so that you're not um, putting any kind of extra pressure or strain on those arches. So pressing into the strap, we're going to inhale, feet up towards the sky and flex, toes pointing down towards your face. And exhale, bending the knees, bringing the feet back closer towards the sit bones. Inhale, feet up to the sky. And your legs don't have to be straight here. They might only come this far. They might come this far. They might come this far. Everybody's body is different every day. So let it be what it is. And exhale, bending the knees back, bringing the soles back towards the sit bones. Inhale, feet up and flex. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, feet up and flex. Exhale, bend the knees. And then keep the right foot in the strap and bring the sole of the left foot back down to the mat. Inhale, the right foot up towards the sky, holding the strap one side in each hand, bring the triceps down towards the mat so that your arms, your upper arms and your shoulders can really relax here. And we're going to just kind of draw the foot a little bit closer to the face, no matter where you are, whether you're here, here or here, just a tiny bit closer. Keep a little bit of a bend in the knee so that you don't hyperextend it. And then externally rotate your foot so that the toes are pointing outward towards the right corner, top corner of your mat. So straight up is here, toes pointed towards your face, and now we're going to point the toes out towards your uh, right shoulder. Keeping the straps in just the right hand. Extend the left arm out to the side and bring the tricep back down toward the mat if that's comfortable for you, but if not, you can extend the arm here. Inhale here. Exhale to really tap into the core to support this leg motion here. And then with the core engaged, we're going to inhale the right leg out towards the right side. Only go as far as you can comfortably go without lifting up this hip. And if it helps, um, you can keep the left hand on the left hip bone right here to make sure that you're not lifting up like this. You want to keep the hips firmly situated here on the mat as you rotate and bring the right leg out towards the right. Really flex that foot, pressing into the heel, continuing to breathe. If you find your hip is starting to lift, just bring the leg back a little higher. Remember to keep that knee safe by not locking it. Curl those toes pointed down towards your face or the floor here. Take another nice long inhale here. Exhale, really tapping into the core. Think like you're trying to fog up a mirror. So just with your, um, with your mouth this time, as you exhale, think like you're trying to fog up a window or a mirror. That's the tapping into the core we're looking for here. So inhale, exhale to tap into the core. And then inhale, drawing the leg back to vertical and toes pointing back to your head. And then switch arms so that the left hand is holding both straps. Draw the right arm out to the side and let's gently let the right leg come towards the left.
that's a pretty intense stretch for me all the way down the IT band in the outer right thigh in the outer right calf I am um, still working on increasing my flexibility over here if you have more flexibility you could definitely bring the leg closer to the floor as long as the hips are still situated on the mat or you could even straighten the left leg if you want a little more of a stretch here but I think I'm going to keep mine bent tonight for today one more nice big inhale here Exhale to really tap into that core so that we can use it to inhale our leg back up to the sky and then release. Take a moment to just windshield wiper your legs gently from side to side here. Getting that little yogi massage. Inhale and then exhale drawing both knees into the chest. Go ahead and wiggle that strap down back to the balls of the feet. Inhale, both legs up to the sky, soles of the feet skyward and flexed. Exhale, bending both le legs, and then bring the right foot to the mat as you continue with the strap on the left foot only. And we're gonna repeat that whole thing on the second side balance our hips out here. So inhale and exhale, always tapping into that breath. We're going to inhale, rotating the left foot externally, pointing the toes at the shoulder rather than the face, flexing the foot, really pushing up into that heel, keeping a micro bend in the leg. Inhale, and then exhale to tap into the core, and then inhale, bringing the left foot out to the side. Right arm can be out in a T shape from the shoulder, or the palm can be on the right hip here to make sure that you keep your integrity in your hips. Keep that external rotation. Continue to breathe, using your core strength to help support the leg. Personally, using the core like this in yoga poses is way better than doing a bunch of crunches. And the next time you exhale, tap into that core and then inhale, bringing the foot back up towards the sky. Switch hands. Left arm out to the side, right hand holding the straps. Inhale to press the heel up towards the sky. Exhale to bring the core on board here. And then inhale the left leg over towards the right. Oh, notice what you feel out there in the calf as you continue to breathe. Notice what you feel in the hip and the thigh. Continue flexing that foot and pressing into the heel. One last inhale here before you exhale to engage your core for support. And then inhale the leg back up to the sky. Exhale to release. Put your strap aside and gently windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Maybe adding in the gaze. So as your knees come left, the gaze comes right, giving a little twist. Inhale, knees up, gaze up. Exhale, knees right, gaze left. Inhale, gaze up, knees up. Exhale, knees left, gaze right. And continue doing this on your own with the breath. And the next time you inhale, your knees up and your gaze up. That's the last time. So now we're going to come... Uh, to a seat, you can either roll to one side and push yourself up, or you can have a little more fun, and I love to do this because not only is it fun and playful and 
we grown-ups don't get to play very much. Um, but it also feels really great on the back. So inhale and then exhale to draw one knee at a time in towards the chest. And then with a little bit of momentum here, you're going to draw the feet up over the head and let the momentum sort of rock you back and forth, giving yourself a little massage all the way up and down the spine. Really feeling that, let it be fun, let it be floaty, maybe bring the feet way up overhead to bring the pressure up higher into the high back. And when you've had enough playtime, you can come up to a nice seat. We're going to come into tabletop here for a moment, bringing the wrists out so normal tabletop is knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Um, but if you have any wrist issues, you can bring the palms out just a little bit. So they're just a little ahead of the shoulders. That can help you really press into those fingers and not put so much pressure in the wrists. And then we'll just inhale, warming it up. Inhale, a gentle cow. And exhale, a gentle cow. Inhale, cow, drawing the heart forward and the tailbone up, and exhale, cat, drawing the belly button towards the spine, really pressing in. Maybe make these motions a little bit more generous as you inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Last time here, inhale, cow, exhale, child's pose. Bring the forehead toward or to the mat, keeping the arms extended. Inhale, really expanding the skin across the back. And exhale, really pressing the sit bones towards the heels. They might not come all the way towards the heels, mine don't, but just kind of press toward the Inhale one last time, really feeling a spread across the armpits here. And then exhale, using the core to roll yourself up to hero's pose, Brasana. Then we're going to take our feet out to one side or the other. Actually, let's go ahead and come to the right hip bringing the feet over to the left so you can see what's going on here, and I'll move my sweater out of the way. So we're kind of sitting in uh, what Daisy used to call a uh, little mermaid's pose. Um, can't remember what the Sanskrit is, sorry, I think it starts with a V. Well, doesn't matter, I'll look it up later, and, or you can remind me in the comments below. I'm still, still learning, still memorizing the Sanskrit. So the feet are out here towards the side in this nice little graceful little mermaid's pose. Sitting on the right hip. Use your fingertips to support you so you can sit nice and tall. Inhale here, lengthening the spine. And then exhale, twisting towards the right. Inhale here, lengthening the spine. Exhale to deepen the twist. Inhale last time. Exhale back to center. And then inhale, scooping the left arm in front of you. And with the fingertips back here behind your right hip, you're going to press the hips up and inhale the arm up and overhead, feeling that nice open stretch in the right side body. Inhale here, feeling this, the opening in the ribs. Exhale, tapping into that core to support the back. Inhale one last time, and exhale back to the mat. And just switch sides, cute little kick here, bring the feet over to the right, sit on the left hip, 
We'll repeat that here. Fingertips out to the sides. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen the neck. Inhale, lifting the heart. And exhale, twisting to the left. And you can gaze wherever is comfortable on your neck. Back over the left shoulder, maybe out to the side here, maybe to the front. I love this little mermaid's pose. Makes me feel fancy. Inhaling as you lengthen. Exhaling as you twist any amount more. Not cranking, just a nice gentle twist. And then inhale one last time, exhale back to center, and then bring that left fingertips or palm or fist back here behind the hips, and then inhale the right arm in front of you, palm up, and lifting the hips, bringing the right arm over in a nice graceful arch here. Opening up the chest, continuing to breathe those nice long breaths. Inhale, bring the gaze down to the floor or up to the sky, whatever feels good to you. Exhale to soften, soften the skin of the face, soften the jaw. One last inhale here. And exhale, bringing everything back down to the mat. And let's bring our legs back up underneath us for a nice Sukhasana, easy pose, just sitting in cross legs here. Hands can be on the knees. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to tag a little weight in the elbows, relax the shoulders. And then let's inhale the arms out to the sides, lifting the palms towards the sky and up overhead where they meet. And then exhale, hands to heart. Bring yourself back to the breath. And I've been practicing the Loka Samasta chant pretty much every day for a long time here because it really brings me back to the basics and I can remember the whole thing in Sanskrit. But I do like to follow it up with the English here because it solidifies me, in me, the prayer and whatever religion you are or are not. I truly believe prayer is, at its essence, energy. It is the energy we bring to the world. So when somebody says, my prayers are with you, hopefully they're sending you some good energy, some good vibrations your way. So in that vein, I will chant and invite you to chant along with me if you know the words, and if not, you can just dismiss this all. But I invite you to stay with me. Loka Samasta Sukim Nam Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 May all beings everywhere be happy. My thoughts, words, deeds, and actions contribute to that in some way. Om peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you again for sharing your valuable time with me this evening. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you find some peace and joy. See you next time.